um, we are saying that uh, this is the point to note when uh, performing the creation by parts. We are saying that when performing the creation by parts, number one, um, when the log term is present, it is taken as a CU. Point number two to note is that uh, when the log term is not present, then the power of x is taken as u. And then number three, if there is neither the log term, if there is neither a log function nor a power of x, then the exponential function is taken as a u. Now let us consider this example. They want us to integrate um, exponent 3x sine uh, sine x then in dx. So when you want to perform integration by parts, you must ask yourself these three points for you to do the assigning. Which variable is taken as u and which one is taken as dv. So this one is the guideline. Now I want to do the assignment of this given example. Now I want to ask myself um, that uh, do we have the log term present in the given uh, equation or integral? Uh -huh. As you can see, the log term is not present. Uh -huh. Then number two, that if the log term is not present, then the power of x is taken as u. Do we have power of x? We don't have the x, the given expression. Then I move to number three, which says that if the, the, the log term is not present and there is also no, no power of x, then the exponential function, um, the exponential function is taken as, as u. Okay, so therefore, take this one with my, my u. So once you, you assign u, so what remains is now dv. So this will be my, my dv. Like that. So let us work out this um, this example. So we have the integral of exponent three x sine x then dx. So we are saying that. Uh, that u equals to uh, exponent 3x, therefore du dx will differentiate this equation, um, du dx will differentiate this equation. So when you differentiate this equation, uh, we shall be able to get uh, uh, 3 exponent 3x. We are doing this because this this is this is a function of a function. So you differentiate this one, you get 3x dx. Therefore, du equals to 3 exponent 3x, then, then dx. Aha, we have dv. dv equals to sine, sine x, then dx. For us to get the value of, of x, we integrate this equation on both sides. So we give the integral on both, on both sides. We get the integral on both sides. So when you integrate the v, uh, v, then when you integrate sine x, you get negative, negative cos x. You get negative cos x. Then you remember why the equation by parts? Is given by uv minus the integral of v v du. So, but from here you can see that we have all the we have du, we have u, then we have v. Therefore, we are saying the integral of exponent 3x sine sine x dx will be equal to um, our u our u is exponent, exponent 3x, our v is minus, minus cos x, so let me start with minus, then cos, cos x, then of course, 
Then of course minus, we are applying the formula minus that row of V, my V is negative, so I have minus cos, cos X, then my DU, DU do what? DU is that one, 3X, dot 3X, exponent, 3X, then DX, like that, like that. So this equals to, of course, minus exponent 3x cos x, then minus and minus will be positive, so it will be plus the integral of, uh, but before that, 3 is a constant, I take it out, so I have plus 3, the integral of cos, because, because x, cos x, then exponent, exponent 3x then dx exponent 3x dx aha uh -huh. so you can see that at this point again we need to perform the equation by parts we have cos x and then we have exponent 3x so we need to do the assigning again if the log term is present, it's taken as u. The log term is not present. When the power of x is present, it's taken as u. The power of x is not present. If the two are not present, then the exponential function is taken as, as u. Therefore, the exponential function is there. So this is u. Automatically, this one will be our, our dv. That one will be our dv. Aha. Uh -huh. So we now have this. So, dv equals to cos, cos x. So for us to get the value of v, we integrate on both sides of this equation. So we do the integration here. So when you integrate v, when you integrate dv, you get v. And then when you integrate cos x, when you integrate cos x, you'll be able to get uh, sine, you'll be able to get sine x be able to get sine x. Aha, then we have, we have our u, we are saying that u equals to exponent 3x, therefore du dx equals to 3 exponent 3x. When we differentiate u equals to exponent 3, we get 3 exponent 3x. Now from here, our equation then becomes minus exponent 3x cos cos x then plus 3 um, then we open the bracket because 3 is affecting all this so we open the bracket then we substitute in our integration formula uv uh, our u there is exponent exponent 3x then our v is sine x Sine x, then minus the integral of minus the integral of now v our v is sine x sine x then our du um, our du is here du equals to three exponent three x then dx so we have dot three exponent three x then dx close that bracket. We close the bracket. Aha. Uh -huh. So this equals to minus exponent 3x cos x then plus 3 into exponent 3x sine sine x then I take out 3 because it's a constant so it will be minus 3, the integral of sine, sine x, then exponent, 3x, then dx. Now, we need to assign here again. Remember, we have sine x and then exponent x. But if you are very careful, you, you realize that 
we are going back from where we started from. We started from this point. They wanted us to get the integral of exponent 3x sine x, which is but which is this one. So it means we shall be uh, going round and round and not coming to an end of the uh, the question. Um, now what do we do? So um, so the, we had the integral of it was the integral of the exponent sine x dx uh, equals to minus x x cos x then plus saying is so you can see this was our starting point so it means that we shall be because we are here we need to assign again and and start in the grid to the creating again so at this point let let k equals to the integral of exponent 3x sine x dx therefore that is the case where there is this expression will will probably be with k therefore we have k equals to minus exponent 3x cos x plus plus 3 into exponent 3x sine sine x minus now this is k minus 3k minus 3k so k equals to minus exponent 3x cos x plus 3 exponent 3x sine x minus 9k multiply through by by three. Nine k crosses to this side, so that you, because it's negative, it will be positive. So we have ten k equals to one side will be positive. It will be three exponent three x sine x minus exponent 3x cos x so if I want the value of k then I divide through by 10 but before that I can factorize out here we have exponent 3x is common in the 3 sine x minus cos x minus cos x therefore k equals to exponent 3x all over 10 in 3 sine x minus cos cos x but what was k but but k was equal to the integral of exponent 3x sine x dx therefore the integral of 
exponent 3x sin x dx equals to exponent 3x all over 10 into 3 sin x minus cos x plus plus a constant of plus a constant of inequality. Thank you for watching and listening.